This is more review on how to solve exponential equations using logarithms. Um, and we're going to go back through the same process. Isolate the exponent, and then once you get the exponent by itself, you're going to get rid of the exponent by doing the opposite, which is the logarithm, and then solve for x using change of base if necessary. Um, so for the first one, this is my exponent. My exponential is right here, so I need to get rid of the 5. Notice it's hooked by multiplication, so you're going to divide both sides by 5. So we have 10 to the 3x equals 20. The 10 is hooked to the 3x, not by multiplication, so I can't divide both sides by 10. This is an exponent, so I need to write the word log down to get rid of it. It's log base 10 of something equals power. My power is the 3x, so the 20 goes inside of here. Remember, I don't have to write down base 10, so I can write it as log 20, and then just think in my head that's base 10 equals 3x, or divide both sides by 3, and that'll be my exact answer. For the decimal, to round it to two places, I don't need to use change of base because this is already log base 10, so I just type in log 20, close parenthesis, divide by 3, and your approximation should come out to be about 0.43. For letter B, I need the exponent by itself. It's got an addition sign here, so I'm going to have to use addition subtraction property to get rid of the 5. Since the 5 is positive, you'll want to subtract 5 from both sides. Notice how that's different from part A. So I have now 10 to the 3x equals 95. And again, this is an exponent, so I need to write the word log base 10. I'm just going to think that in my head of 95 equals the power. And now solve for x. So it's 3 times x, divide both sides by 3. And then that's again my exact answer. When you type it into your calculator, make sure you type it in exactly as you see it here. Log base 10 of 95, close the parenthesis, then divide by 3. When you do that, it's going to come out approximately 0.66. Letter C, again I see an addition symbol, which means I need to use addition subtraction property to get rid of the 3. It's positive, so you subtract 3 from both sides. I have 2e to the x equals 6. I still have e to the x attached to the 2, and it's hooked by multiplication, so now you can divide it off. e to the x equals 3. It's an exponent, so I'm going to write the word log base e of 3 equals my power. But another name for log base e, remember, was natural log. So natural log of 3 equals x. So again, that's one that you can type directly into your calculator. Natural log of 3 comes out to a big long decimal of like 1.0986, bunch of other digits. But if I'm rounding to two decimal places, I take a look at the 8, that's going to bump this 9 up and make it approximately 1.10. For the last one, subtract 3 from both sides again, because it's an addition problem, so we use addition subtraction property. e to the 2x equals 6. Do log base e. But you can start thinking of log base e in your head and just writing down natural log of 6 equals the power, and then solve for x. 
If you need to write in that step, it's okay. Just remember that log base E is really natural log. And then again, use your calculator. It comes out approximately a big long decimal once again, but it'll round to approximately 0 0.90.